All right, guys. This is our old homestead on Living on the Hill. This is our gate to go in where we used to live. And in the background, you'll see our little barn and our gazebo. I'll let Tina open the gate for us. So I'm not walking and videoing at the same time. All right, so there's our driveway. And this is our goat pin. Out there in the middle was a little platform we made for our goats. The playground. And behind it is Lester's house, and now Ellie's flip-flop farmers over there it's I'm a survivor I'm a survivor I'm sorry okay all the fencing guys Robert put up well not Robert by God I was there yes, helping Dustin. this fencing here all the fencing that I'll ask you don't you know that this fencing was under about six foot of river property a river flooding um, mm -hmm. and it's still standing so good job on that fencing baby thank you with all that good help you gave me <laughs> I guess that's a telephone pole that that Tina said in her previous video about he was oh, working yeah. on that telephone pole. That light, the light's still there. Zoom in on it. Oh, okay. The so utility that, uh, person, what's he called? Technician? Yeah. Lineman? Yeah, the lineman. He was there working on it. And yes. he was just hanging out for a long time. And we used to have a little house that was sitting right behind that big pine tree. And I came outside, I was like, what is he still doing out there? And he was just watching the goats. Yeah, he was up, that, up on that telephone pole looking down into the goat pen watching him play. You gonna, you gonna open the door to the old barn, see how she looks? Hope no rat or crazy animal jumps out at us. Look right here. Oh. We still have some pictures. We have a picture of Grandma's Mountains. And hold on, hold this on. is a picture of... That's here. Bennett, yeah, that's here. A bit. There's a four-wheeler. Dustin's on the four-wheeler, and there's Bennett standing there. And then, look, I wrote Robert a little note one day because he was not being very nice to me. <laughs> <Seems, laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. It says Robert is an ass. One day when he was acting like a mule. And there's old Bennett's flip-flop. Oh, Bennett's little flip-flop. He wore these. These were his favorite little shoes. Oh, it makes me sad to come in here. You can see, here's the water line from the flood right across here. This is how deep the water was inside this uh, barn. This barn, yeah. So everything in here was underwater halfway up. Yeah. A lot of the things we've already cleaned out and we've taken them back to um, our house now, but... There's still a lot of junk in here. We haven't cleaned it out fully. But this was our barn that that workbench I built that for Robert and mm -hmm. I put up those cabinets when he was at work one day. This I had little projects all the time when I was going to college and home with the boys. And the pegboard too back there. Yeah, the pegboard my, my grandfather gave that to me and so I hung that up and the cabinets came out of Kim's uh Kim gave us those from something she had and we those are better cabinets than what we have in our barn now. They're not even see, warped or nothing. You can see Robert camoed them. Yeah. <laughs> I got an oak leaf. You sprayed some. Sprayed, camo, yeah. yeah, I can't hold them up. Yeah. yeah. Robert and Papa built this barn. Yes. Me and Papa built it. And dust, I think, probably helped. the slab and everything. Yep. What'd you find over there, Tina? Well, you can see this was my mood one day. Robert is an ass. And this is my <laughs> mood another day right here. I'm looking our, in the concrete. Tina loves Robert forever. Did you date it too? No, it's no date. It's just forever. Oh, forever. Okay. Yeah, Tina loves Robert forever. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just, yeah. And this is where I park my truck. My truck parked right here in my little carport. Mm -hmm. And Robert made me this concrete right here so I didn't have to step in the dirt to get in my truck. What was the name of your truck, baby? The Blue Diesel Girl. Blue Diesel Girl. Oh, look, there's something else here. Oh, what else? Ants. Oh, there's some handprints. Hand print. Bennett's little handprint. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get those ants. Let's see. It says Bennett and his little handprint. <laughs> No, oh, that's sad. that's not sad, but it's nostalgic. 
Maybe there's some over there at the... Yeah, when we poured that slab, there's probably something over there also where we... Let's walk over there. That other little barn over there is the water well. My dad runs his cows down here now, so it's just a big cow pen now. There is in this corner, there's birds. I have to find it under all this mess. One of the corners? It's over here. Here it is, look. Okay, I'm coming. There's ants in the shed. There's a, there's a cow right there. That cow's going, what are you doing over there? Oh, yes. You gotta turn it around, though. Let me try to turn the camera around. Come stand right here. You can get it pretty good. Yeah. It says Tina and Robert, 616 of 03, and Bennett and Dustin. Elijah was not born yet. That's when we poured the slab. June 16th of 03. Now show the, the sidewalk going into the house. Well, this, I'm going to say this is okay. our outdoor space. Oh, look, your speaker's still hanging under here, honey. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this was our little party central right here. This is our outdoor space. We have these speakers hanging up. Yeah, there's one speaker on that corner over there. Let me zoom in a little bit. And our the speaker. big fan that we have on our patio now was out here. We had it painted gray. It matched the house. Yeah, and another speaker have up there. All kinds of, like, fight nights out here for boxing matches and UFC fights. And oh, yeah. Everybody would come, and this was... Party oh, we also had a sink yeah. and a, a bar kind of countertop. This was outdoor kitchen. Right across yep. here, outdoor kitchen. We had a sink and some yep. cabinets and our grill. Grill. The Weber. The Weber. And then these things right here are Johnny Jumpers. Oh. Those are for the Johnny Jumpers. I'm going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Bennett loved the Johnny Jumper and we'd hook it. It has the clamp. The Johnny Jumper has the clamp at the top and we'd have these and we'd clamp that jumper and we'd sit out here and he'd just jump and bounce and then there, there's another one. Another one over here. Yeah, for the Johnny Jumpers. <laughs> oh my God. And then this one here was our port swing. This you had my port swing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there. that's one of them. Let me get over there so I can get a better view. Let's see. Right up there. Those were a port swing. Yeah, he had the port swing hanging right here. I used to sit on that swing and rock those boys. And then look here. Come here. What? More. Look at your hooks for your hammock. <laughs> yeah. We had a hammock out here. here the hooks for his hammock. Hmm. This is Robert's hammock. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Them Robert. speakers have seen their better days. Let me zoom in again. Yeah. Them speakers have seen their better days. I bought Robert a brand new hammock for Father's Day. And our Ollie Shante, he left it hanging one day and he came out to get in the hammock and Ollie Shante had chewed a huge hole in the middle of it. It was trashed. Mm. Remember that? Yeah. His brand new hammock. So I made this concrete walkway. This is one of my little projects I made one day. It's that down here. It should be concrete right here. I don't know, maybe it's gone. But you can see this walkway here. So I always had little projects going on. And uh, one project, I, I needed a walkway. I, I did not make a walkway that way, but the grass was always pretty pretty thick, so it was okay. It mowed. Mowed, yeah, yeah. And, but the grass was thick, it wasn't any dirt. Right. So I would get out of my truck and I'd walk right through here. And then there was a concrete block here, and then this is a little sidewalk that I poured. I poured this sidewalk right here all by myself. Robert got a mixer for Christmas, a little electric mixer. And one day I made this my project and worked all day making this sidewalk. Come on. And this is where we would walk into the back. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Sorry, guys. She freaked out. It was a well, sticker, but I thought I was covered in ants. When I, I felt it, I thought ants were biting me. And I... <laughs> well, guys, down here where we live, it's so sandy. There's fire ants everywhere. <laughs> and you have to be prepared to do the I, the dance. The if you got... got in my toe, but I, and I felt it. I thought it was ants biting me. <laughs> oh, my God. I still got one in my foot. Talking about ants, actually, there was one time 
Bennett, oh there was a bush right, right here. And there was a bush and Bennett was, was just playing around outside. And all of a sudden, we, ants literally was just covered all over him. I we that. just yanked off his diaper and started smacking all the ants off. Luckily, he only got like one or two bites of, on that whole time. There was probably a thousand ants on him. Not exaggerating. There was like tons of ants on him. But luckily, he only got maybe one or two bites out of the whole incident. So, so this was our house right here. This yep. was it. This was the house. There's the meter loop still to the... the meter loop still was on the on the back. There was a there was a wall that went by right here. So you really couldn't see it over there. And then you went in the back door right there. Right. But there's so much I want to show you. Come over here. Okay. You could also talk about that pine tree. White trying pine tree was little when we first got in, huh? Oh, I bear, I planted that one. Which one? The big one in the corner, remember? Oh, yeah. Right after we did our new fencing, I put a pine tree in that corner. The one behind the cow, right there. Yes, I planted that one. We also planted that pecan tree right there. Mm-hmm. That was our first pecan tree because Robert's parents had pecan trees out there in Uvalde, and we wanted some here. That was the well, first one. good size, huh? Yeah, it's gone. The cow's been and the goat's been rubbing on it. But yeah, it still looks good. Yeah. Let's, let's walk up and see if there's any pecans on it. Should be pecans on it now. We're going to walk up there. Come on, baby. One little shell up there. Yeah, I see a couple of shells, but it doesn't look like it produced that much this it year. Was, it was such a drought. Look. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We had such a drought this summer. That's probably why it didn't produce that many. And then this is a mulberry tree. Yes. And the mulberries would just fall down back here. There's some mulberries on it right now. On it. Yeah. Wow. The boys, we'd go get the side by side and park it underneath there. And, and they'd, they'd, be, climb, up they'd there. climb up the side by side and pick mulberries pick out of mulberries. there. Yeah, there's a lot on there. Here's yeah, a good one right here. Doing so good. Here's one. Get one now, baby, on camera. Is it black? Yeah, it's black enough. Where? Right there. I can't reach. Pull that limb down. There you go. Oh, it's got bugs on it that need to be oh. killed. No, not this. But oh. Oh, I was looking right there. Look. Okay. See them little nests? Is it good? Try it. Stain your hands all the time. Mm, yeah. Delicious. Delicious, huh? I see. Oh, there's a good one right here. I can't reach it. My sister made some mulberry uh, jelly that one time for us, remember? Oh, yeah. It was really good. good. So over here is where we had a little chicken coop. A little con we got concrete over there. <laughs> well, Daniel worked for a concrete company one time, and all his excess, he would bring and dump anywhere we needed concrete that day. You better have a form built. <laughs> have a form ready. Ready. I know they are. Little sticker burrs, huh? I forgot how bad they were. We don't have stickers at our new house. <laughs> uh, Dustin, all right. Dustin's yelling at me hold on. He can come down here. You gonna talk about the propane? So this right here is uh, the propane that we need to run our That's the edge right there, the it's house. probably buried. It was, um, these were the hedge. These were right in front of it. And then we had a, those uh, fire, what's that fireplace called? Uh, propane heater. We had a, a, a ventless heater. Yeah, it's called something. Blue Dad flame? Talks about them. Blue flame? Yeah. The brand you're talking about? No, just a. Okay. It had a heater. It was a propane heater. Never mind. It ran off gas. Yeah, propane. <laughs> it was right there on that wall. And now you want to show him the tree house? Yes, we had, Robert built him a little fort. A little fort, yes. Not a tree house, fort. So we're going to walk over there. Okay. Come here, hurry. Watch that bull. He probably won't mess with you, but you never know.
There's Carly now. She wants to come see too. Lovey used to have a house down here. This used to be Dusty's house too. You gonna walk yeah. down there? Yeah, over here. All uh, right, we're walking down to where the fort was. That little concrete slab was the fort, the bottom of it. It stands right there. See the legs where he cut, he cut it off? And yeah. now it's at Kim's, it's in Kim's backyard. It's right there if you can bend down and see it's in Kim's Really? Backyard. Still still standing? Yeah, it's still there. Bend down and see. Where though? Right through there. See it? No. Is it? Okay, let me have the camera. Uh -huh. Zoom in. That's the fort right there. That's the fort that Robert built for the boys. And we cut it off, and now Kim has it in her backyard for her grandkids. Yes. It's right here. And in this tree, we had Bennett's little party. We had Blue, what was his name? Blue's Clues, Pinata. You got ants? We'll add all those pictures. We'll add all the pictures that we can find at the end. Hey, y'all. Well, we made it home, and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, visiting our old homestead where we used to live. We're back at our new homestead, and we just said we just want to say thank you for hanging out with us and and seeing all the uh, memories memories with us. Yes, going yes. down memory lane, all the good times we had yes. over there. So, I'm Tina, and I'm Rob, and we're, we're living, living off, off the hill. hill. Bye, y'all. Bye.